And I can't believe we're on here with Jason Kerr. What's up going on? What's going on, Jason? What's going on, man? How you doing? Man, I, I, I'm just saying, I'm so excited, man, that you decided to do this with me. You know, we're just trying to do something different. And we're going to do musical moments with the HBC Collective. And we said, hey, man, let's do this. I couldn't think of anybody else, especially since you are a Tennessee State University grad, man. I was like, we got to get Jason Curry on here. And I just, I can't wait for you to introduce yourself to the collective and everything we got going on the concept. It's going to be great. But before we start, we always pay homage to the HBCUs that we attended. You know, I went to Clark Atlanta and Mississippi Valley. You know, we we, we not, we, we're not going to hold that against you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Man, that's all right. That's all right. I had some great times at Clark Atlanta. No, man. no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fighting Marching Panthers, and you were over there with the uh, Jazz Collegians and, and uh, also with the aristocratic uh, bands over in that area. Man, how was yeah, the Tigers? How great, was man. It, it, it was, it was, it's interesting, man, because, um, you know, a, a colleague um, hit me up on uh, social media, like, um, they, you know, there was a photograph of us like marching to a pep rally. It was crazy. And I was like, man, those were, it was a blast from the past. So, um, you know, I guess the caption was like, you know, you, we just wore whatever we were wore to school that day, you know, to the pep rally, you just threw on some sweats. Now they have really organized, like really nice warm up sweats, you know, everything's very, uh, you know, sophisticated and they got more money and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, I thought that was really interesting, man, but TSU was a really, um, fantastic experience. You know, when I think back, you know, I think about like, you know, uh, Professor Graves and Professor Kirk, who the late Professor um, Benjamin Kirk, who was the jazz instructor and Charles Dungey, um, the late Professor Charles Dungey, and just the wonderful like um, program that they had there. Um, you know, uh, it, it was really, you know, I saw um, being a, a student, um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, a resident of the Midwest, you know, there was this, um, this uh, football game called the Circle City Classic uh, in my hometown of Indianapolis, Indiana, yeah. where they would invite two HBCU bands to teams and you see the bands at halftime. And that's how I got exposed to the HBCUs. You know, because I- Right on the end, man, you were there. Yeah, yeah, I was there, man. It was just like, you know, you would see them and these different bands come, you know, Jackson State, you know, Mississippi Valley would come, Tennessee State, Grambling, FAMU. And so, you know, I was like, man, I want to go to that, uh, go to a school like that because, you know, I was the first in my family because even though my mother and father went to school, they went to like these big, um, uh, you know, PWI institutions. So, you know, um, and so I wanted to kind of have a different experience, even though I kind of like had an opportunity to do that. But yeah, man, it was just a really fantastic experience. It was a lot of kids, but it was just like totally just to be immersed with like people that look like you and like people who are really on your team was really a phenomenal experience. Man, you're doing some amazing things, man. And you know, you're part of the Conselma family already, the Conselma artists playing at Yannick and, and, yeah. and them, man, I know you enjoy the horn. Uh, you know, talk about that experience working with Conselma and, and definitely what you plan on doing with the you know, Division of Education and, and Jazz Outreach and all those things as well. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, you know, just loved, uh, you know, the the team at, at Con Selmer. You know, I had a chance to, you know, uh, work with um, colleagues at, at CSI, you know, several years ago. And then, um, you know, uh, Con Selmer has really supported and Mike, Mike Kampfeis and his team have supported me to a lot of different outreach. Um, most notably with the um, HBCU um, court, uh, uh, band directors um, coalition, uh, yeah, a consortium, consortium. I'm sorry, uh, and you know I had a chance to be one of the artists, you know, at one of those um, uh, uh, events, and you know just like the work that and the partnership that with Con Selmer and you know Yanagasawa is like one of the best horns, man. I love love playing my Yanagasawa, you know. Um, and, you know, there are some wonderful new products that Con Selmer's like uh, and Yanagasawa have recently released. So I'm excited to kind of like share and um, continue playing those products. And so people can see those wonderful, um, how, how this, these ligatures and, and different uh, mouthpieces and things make the horn sing. Yeah, but yeah. Um, yeah, man, uh, I mean, it's just like such, Con Selmer is just like a wonderful um, organization, man. And I've been proud to be and privileged to be one of their artists. Um, with the, uh, the help of and support of Yanagasawa 
um, for several years now. So I'm really, really thrilled. Really into education. And, and mm -hmm. education is, is important to you uh, personally and, and within your family and, and, of course, your close friends as well. And mm -hmm. you are, you're very heartfelt about how music education is going and the importance of keeping it thriving throughout uh, the curriculum in all these schools, K through 12, and even at the university level. You know, what would you tell you know, students now about sticking to their guns and, and being you know, in music and the importance of being you know, culturally sound and doing things other than just sports and video games? You know, music plays a <laughs> huge you know, part in your life. So explain that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just teaches so many things about like how to be a better person, about life. Um, it teaches skills like commitment and dedication um, and time management. Um, there's so many things that being an artist teaches you and like music is so important. Again, if we don't continue to give back to the next generation, the music won't live on, you know, whatever you're doing. In it. And, and, and I think that's in any field, right? And I think what's really important um, is just like thinking about like communication, like things we need for the business world. Um, I'm thrilled and privileged to be able to um, work with Jazz and Lincoln Center and their work in sometimes going into, as an artist, going into um, and working in universities with MBA students to teach them how jazz and the connections, the skills that we learn in, on the jazz bandstand, how that applies to skills that you'll need in the boardroom, Absolutely. such as communication, communication, time management, things that I just said, um, and like dedication um, and giving presentations and like, you know, listening is really important um, and really like learning how to interact and communicate. Also, I know you're in and out of the studio, man. You got a lot of things going on. You got, you got the, uh, the Jason Curry Jazz uh, correlation going on too. You know, the group that you play with and you play with, I mean, everybody, man. What you got <laughs> going on? We don't want to keep people for long, but I want yeah. them to know Jason Curry and the things that you got going on, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, I'm uh, just, I was just um, going to be doing some new um, recordings uh, coming up for a project that I'm working on. Um, I've got a record that's, that's been released um, and I've got some work at Jazz and Lincoln Center. Um, I was doing some work with uh, some Broadway Tony award winning artists this summer. Um, I was also with uh, Lady Gaga recently. Um, wow. I've had some chance, a chance to, um, be to join a Broadway show that's going to be upcoming uh MJ the musical the music of Michael Jackson so awesome. I'm thrilled uh, to be able to like work in that um orchestra um and we start previews in December so um I'm staying busy man you know it's just interesting as soon as the the restrictions eased on like live performances in New York man like my calendar just like I got so busy and I think a lot of my <laughs> colleagues too. It's great, you know, <laughs> it's great. It's like music so fantastic. Live music is back, you know, that's, and that's, 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 that's real huge, man. I, I know you're playing, you know, a lot. I know you're collaborating a lot, but I happen to know you're also composing a lot. So you know you got some music out there uh, that's published, I think with the Dev Music Company. Uh, so I think, you know, tell everybody about the compositions you got going on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dev Music um, has some things, a um, uh, couple of pieces of mine, and um, you can find them on J.W. Pepper, um, you know, two of my compositions. These are um, wonderful works um, that I was really kind of like privileged and, and thrilled to like work with Dev Music, and they published some of my material. I'm looking to kind of continue to do more. Um, I'm always composing. I did a lot of composing through um, the pandemic. We had a lot, a lot of time, so uh, yeah. I was able to kind of like <laughs> uh, do some composing and arranging um, and, you know, write for other groups and like, you know, thinking about like how to also kind of transition my sound into commercial work and film and television. So um, those are some uh, also projects on the horizon as well. Man, hey, folks, go and make sure you check out uh, Jason Curry. Check him out on all the social media. And go to J.W. Pepper. Check out his, his compositions. He gave you those titles. And, and we'll put those up on the screen so that you can check those out at, towards the end. Man, I'm telling you, Jason Curry is someone you got to know. Jason, I appreciate you giving us some time uh, today, man. And if you can give you know 15 seconds just to tell people uh, your last bit of inspiration, what would you tell them? Oh, yeah. I just think that it's important to just kind of like just keep your eye on the prize. Um, you know, whatever whatever area of music that you're in, uh, whether you're a player, composer, um, whether you're a writer or director, um, I think it's important to kind of just 
learn how to make connections, uh, whether that's making connections with your students, allowing students to make connections, and the success when learning really happens, or making connections with your audience. Um, I think whatever way that that can be done, that's where longevity ends up happening. Absolutely, man, we appreciate it. Folks, make sure you tune in every week. We're gonna have somebody else different for the musical moments with the HBC Collective, Jason Curry, inaugural edition of that right now. This webinar is so great. Five, 10 minutes, you're gonna learn a lot about everybody every week. Thanks for coming.